Yeah, it's not directly live and direct from the university. You're not live and direct from anywhere, bye. Show you to fight for this, call on me. But they already have it in my like, first of all, you have to, like you said, establish that's a, that it's a date. Because I feel like there needs to be a pre-discussion. Mm -hmm. So that by the time you get in the car, no matter who's driving, hopefully it's him, mm -hmm. no matter who's driving, y'all don't have to get to the restaurant and it'd be that awkward moment like, mm, and my pan, and my you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But usually I already have it in my head that I'm going to pay for my meal since we're getting to know each other. We haven't established that we're dating. Like there needs to be a pre-conversation because if you don't have a pre-conversation, nine times out of ten you're gonna end up in restriction. So, like like you said, it is all about first impressions, and we're too old to be dating just for fun. After this first date, if I like it, if I like what you had to say, and if I say yes to a second one. Then we can work something out. But on that first day, I need you to pay. If we get further along in this, am I gonna be paying for everything? Like, it'll be okay if we establish that. But if I'm like, can you get this one? Done? And the next time, can you get this again? Can you get this? Or can you get the door? Cause I'm gone. <laughs> I have something to say on this topic. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. To my dudes, protect yourself because girls are doofuses out here. Please, 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 please. please. And I say that, I know, I'm looking around the room, all the ladies in here are very beautiful, wholesome women, not y'all, but there are outside women that are doofuses, bro. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait a minute. Food niggas are real. <laughs> so real. The phenomenon is real, bro. You can go to a girl's house with your gas. Your gas from your hard-earned money. Go and pick her up. Take her. You established that this is a whole ass date. You take her. You take her to the venue. Y'all eating tacos. You sitting talking to her for four hours. You eating tacos. You enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. You take her home. You spend all this money on her. You look on Twitter. She got a boyfriend. <laughs> You took your hard owned money, got in your hard owned car with your hard owned gas, pulled up, got tacos, found out she had a boyfriend because you lacked in getting your research. <laughs> are misleading, bro. Oh, yes. People will act single and be in a whole ass relationship. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. Men, men, men should absolutely chase women, but these little girls be faking like they women. You know what I'm saying? I feel what she's saying, telling the difference and everything, but at the same time, love is blinding. If you look at somebody and they're beautiful, you really like what they have to that's offer. That's not love, they, though. They perceivingly have to Even offer. That's love. You can that's be love. blinded to that that's shit. Maybe that's, that's love. That's not love. love. Plus, love, hey, whatever you want. No, it's not whatever. No. No. Hey, 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 if you're in a relationship and you see someone else with more potential over yes. time, Aww. what you doing? Wow! Aww. You have no relationship. Lord, I'm too wow. Wow. Top, the grass will always be greener on the other side. Also, it's very dangerous if already you can already think somebody has more potential than a person you're already with. Let me let me just say something. So check this out. First of all, first of all, 
If you are the person in this situation, you're a doofus. Mm. The person who asked this question is also a doofus. Mm. Yeah. If, if you're in a relationship and you at all look at anybody else and see potential and anybody else shouldn't be in that relationship. Mm. Mm. If you, I guess, see potential in somebody else, then just like Tucker said, obviously, like, that's not a real relationship. That might be, like, some little fling that you got going on, but that's not, like, that's not what real love is. Um, you should be more focused than that. I mean, yeah, we're not blind. We see other people. I see y'all, but I'm in a whole ass relationship. Like, but I'm not going to look at somebody else like, oh, this person is better than the person that I'm with because the person that I'm with is everything that I need. So. Next question is, how does having a title change your relationship with someone <laughs> if, you're already, if you already have an understanding? Girl, kids are done. That's not good. We're going to ask the audience first. Woo. Hi, everyone. Okay. So the thing is, um, a title is like a stepping stone to get to another level. Mm -hmm. So I just think that, you know, if I'm not your girlfriend and then like, you know, I'm not your fiance and I'm not your wife, you know, what are we actually doing? Like, what are we understanding? Like, if I was important, I should be your girlfriend. If I'm important, then I should be, you know, your fiance and then I should be your wife. So I understand that you should have an understanding, but you need to have both. You need to have like un understand that, you know, hey, you're mine and I'm yours, but we, we're getting the title. So, yeah. I know y'all like, like to say this little like, oh, we don't have a title, we understand, but no, because like husbands and wives, when you get that ring on your finger, they don't they don't go by they don't go by understanding. I don't understand that I'm married. I am your wife, you are my husband. And when he dies, the the understanding is not gonna get you his money. So <laughs> Without a title, because up. then when he hits you with that, but you're not my girl. Wow! Yeah. I see you guys can relate. Wow! Titles are necessary because you gotta set the record straight. Because <laughs> him, I'm, I'm about to make this real familiar. I hope nobody can relate. Let's say we're in the union at Fuzzy. You know what I'm saying? You and this guy, y'all done had something going on for about a few months. Y'all haven't understand me. <laughs> right? So, you know, your, 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 your girl, you ain't talked to her in a little minute. She don't know what's going on, but she peeped like, you know, y'all y'all been flirting a little bit, right? She pops the question, oh, is that, that's you? Like, is that, is that your dude? That's your, you know what I'm saying? What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I always tell people, I like to keep my private life private, but at the same time, this generation, you this, they sneaky. Like, they sneaky. And if you don't, if you don't make it clear, like, make it clear, like, I'm yours and your mine, that allows people to overstep boundaries that they didn't know. So, real quick, I mean, people are not going to respect um, relationships, even if you have a title. Exactly. Mm -hmm. ah, I want to look cool. But, to answer the question, and I'm just being, I'm just being real, to answer the question, like, Yes, it's important, because just like she said, like, if if we got something going on and and I bring you home to mom's and she asks, like, you know, is being a wife being a husband, like, that's the most important thing at the end of the day. But marriage is not supposed to start your relationship. It's supposed to enhance it. Exactly. So not, like, like y'all are supposed to establish, okay, we boyfriend and girlfriend, because, like, some people don't know. Y'all don't have that trust there, like, then obviously, again, y'all are not in the relationship. With this understanding that you have, how deep is this understanding with the expectations of a title? You have the expectations of a title, but you don't want the title. What, that doesn't correlate to me. I've been in a situation where somebody has gotten angry with my actions because they're expecting me to behave in a certain way, but I'm not your girlfriend. So what do you want me to do? Understanding. This one says, if a guy is trying to get at your best friend after y'all are after y'all finish talking, is that okay? No. The issue should not be with the guy because at that point y'all broke up, so he don't have no loyalty to you. If your best friend goes out and actually makes a play or accepts that, your issue is with her. Coming from somewhere where um, one of my ex-boyfriends has been in a happy relationship with my old best friend for three years. Yeah. Huh? Um, the devil must cut out that relationship. <laughs> 
The devil must not die that relationship. You said three years? Why did you choose her? He said, he said, well, I have the right to be happy, and she mm. makes me happy. To sum this whole situation up, I frankly, whether you decide to, to go for a guy over me, I, did, I, I deducted that. I'm happy with myself. I'm not going to marry my best, my old best friend. If she marries him, they live a happy, lovely life together. I have seven kids, I have zero kids. That's good. They're happy, that's fine. It's no longer my business because I'm going to go on with my life too. So that friendship is over, that relationship is over, and they're happy together. I, I care less. She don't know you want Yeah. 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 You already know, yeah. You already know crazy. She's psychotic. It's not your idea anymore. Uh, that's number one. Number two, don't block someone else's blessing. Uh -uh. Like, you never know. Huh? Ah, too too. You need it tonight. And I, I'm playing devil's advocate. Probably y'all gonna hate me after some females gonna hate me after this. But if my friend, for example, say me and my friend both have a crush on this dude, and the dude is feeling my friend more than me, but like, that's a different thing. Like, what? That's what are we talking? It never happened to you before. Obviously, it's not happening like this. Let it actually happen to you. You see. That it's not right because how can you like sit there and like watch your best friend be with somebody and like doing the things that you used to do with them? Like, that's just gonna hurt you. You just gonna be sitting there like, damn. And you tell her what y'all doing. Yeah, y'all tell her what y'all doing. Like, that's just wrong. Shut up! All right, this question says, My girl is a virgin. She wants yes. to wait until marriage. Yeah. Should I keep dating her or? Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, he's that's waiting. Question. That's stupid. Next question. What you say? He said he's waiting. Oh, okay. Next question. That was a dumbass question. It depends on your morals. So if, if sex really means that much to you, then save her time, save yourself time, and go be with somebody else. Simple. So when it comes to this topic, I want to say whoever asks this question, you're a doofus. <laughs> And let me tell you why that person is a doofus. First of all, because they're talking about a girl who knows what she wants. Whether it is sex all the time, whether it is sex never, she knows what she wants and she's established in that decision. So having a woman like that, honestly, these days is very, very rare. People are confusing, men are confusing, women are confusing. So you're a doofus, whoever asked this, you're a doofus. Your girl's a queen and you're a doofus. There's this guy I've known and been messing with for a while now. When he's drunk, he tends to say things like, you're so fine, and you're, you're a snack, <laughs> and all that cute stuff. But, listen, but whenever I bring up those things he's told me when he's sober, he suddenly has amnesia. My question is, are drunk words really sober thoughts? Yes. Or, is, or is he really just trying to get in my pants? Can I just say that if you have to question whether or not telling the truth about that stuff or he wants to just sleep with you. I think shyness is more of a positive correlated word and sleeping, get in your pants. You won't get that from somebody being shy to tell you when they're sober, I like you, you're, you're my snack. It's a snack. I'm a white dude. If you can't say that sober, you're too shy, I'm not going to think, well, most intelligent women won't think, well, then he's just trying to get in my pants. It's how you say it. It's the mm. tone. So if she has to question that, and I, the question didn't say, he seems like he's too timid to tell me while he's sober. It's it asked. I think he's trying. To, is he trying to get in my pants? So I definitely think he's trying to get in your pants. At the end of the day, sober, not sober. He can only tell you things when he's drunk. That means he's a boy. He is scared to tell you how he feels. But he wants to get in my pants. For real. Okay, so um, I bottom line. He wants to get in your pants. He doesn't He doesn't want anything else. He, I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt. He wants to get in your pants. If he's telling you this stuff when he's drunk he, and he has amnesia, he knows what he said, but he's not acknowledging it because he doesn't want you to think that he likes you or has some type of feelings for you. He wants to get in your pants. Because I've seen it before. I've been to a party and a guy's been drunk and he's been like saying shit, trying to get in my pants. Ooh. And the next day he acted like, he, he didn't know what he said. Like, no, you said it, you try to get in my pants. You're not shy. No, you, you said what you said, and I didn't let you get inside the cookie jar. So, that's it. I just have something real quick to say. 
and I want y'all to say it with me if you know what I'm about to say. This guy is a, a doofus. This girl, she's a doofus. Bro, what kind of shit is that? First of all, first of all, let me explain something to you. A lot of people think, and this is real shit, this is science, I've looked this up before. A lot of people think that alcohol, it unlocks your true self. It's who you really are, it's who you really are, which isn't necessarily true. Actually, alcohol, it, it depresses the what, the part of your brain known as the frontal cortex. The frontal cortex c controls like a lot of your cognitive functions. So you essentially become the animal version of yourself, the beast version of yourself. So, so it's not, these thoughts aren't what he's thinking when he's sober. It, he, it's what he's thinking instinctively. Does that make sense? So when a guy first looks at, well, when the guy in the question first looks at that girl, he's thinking it's a snack. First of all, he's a doofus for that, because if you're looking at, if you're looking at a girl and they're a snack, I mean you're kind of a doofus because you should be looking at meals and buffets and things like that. But, I mean, if you say it's a, if you say it's a snack, he's looking at your butt. He's looking at your the, the areas you're not supposed to be looking at. You see what I'm saying? That's the end of our discussion. Oh, no. If a guy is intoxicated and he did hit you up, let's not look at the glass like half empty and like automatically think, oh, he's trying to get in your pants. Like if he's hitting you up, like that's not always 100%. He's trying to. At two o'clock, I'll be good. He's trying to beat. He could be honestly really deep wanting to talk. Like, Oh like the way I say, like some guys can't express themselves, and when they drink in Hennessy or anything so it's three like that, they, they really that, so. do like deep down want to talk to you, and they feel like cool. it gives them more power, um, more confidence to talk to you. So it's I won't say one hundred percent if a guy's a talk to you, he's hitting you up at night, he's trying to be. It could be something else too. Um, I just love the confidence. Ask me how you feeling. Ask me how you feeling. He's trying to be. bring it to life. At the end of the day, everyone has their own opinions on a lot of issues. Be smart, do what's best for you in that situation. If you love this guy and he keeps on hurting you and hurting you and hurting you, one day you'll have an epiphany, you'll be fine. How do you to find for this? Do you have anything to say to my YouTube channel? I have more. Huh? No, you know, do you have anything to say to my YouTube channel? Um, hello, uh, I'm Lara's YouTube channel. I just want to say real quick that Lara is just an amazing person. Like, don't even, like, this girl is going to reach for the stars. Like, I'm, she's already reached for the what do you have to say to my YouTube channel? <laughs> Hey, y'all, go follow me. Also. No, don't follow him. Nope. Hi, Do you have anything to say to my YouTube channel? She, she, yeah. she, no? She, Great. Hey, Liz, hey, Liz, can you follow me? Oh, I love you too, man. Do you have anything to say to my YouTube channel? Yeah, look, check this out. Support you, Batman. What's going on, Nigeria? Emo State of Old Trap. Harlem Little Boy Ripper. Your favorite alpha jewel club shit. Panic Attack Talk. You know what I'm saying? Look, love. It's like a roller coaster ride. It has its ups and downs. But you're with a significant other and you enjoy the ride. You know what I'm saying? Love is like a single drop of water in the ocean. It's great and fast, but you also drown. Oh.